Thank you so much for our time here together, for all the friends we have made, for all the days of laughter and fun. We thank you for all who have given their energy and skill so that we can graduate today, especially our teachers, our families, and loved ones. Please watch over us and keep everyone safe as we go into our separate ways tonight and tomorrow in our new lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Good evening. Welcome, graduates, family, and friends to the 2020 Van Lu Virtual Graduation. If you think back to the beginning of this school year, I'm sure none of us could have imagined that we would be ending our school year this way. This pandemic has touched all of us, some more profoundly than others. But I am confident that we will be a resilient community and that each of you will not only persevere, but learn from the experience. Graduates, you will go down in history as a class that overcame enormous challenges. So go out into this world and do well. But more importantly, go into this world and do good. Congratulations and best of luck. Van Lu Local School is proud to announce the class of 2020 co-valedictorians and salutatorian. This year's co-valedictorian is Lauren Kin. This year's co-valedictorian is Emma Biller. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Evan Gregory. Well, I'm sure this is not how any of us pictured this day would be, but when life gives you coronavirus, you lose the last quarter of your senior year and you get an extended coronation. In all seriousness, I am saddened at the fact I cannot stand by all of my classmates during this special time, but we will all be stronger people because of this. Van Lu High School has given us so many great memories and led us to so many amazing people that we will cherish and remember for the rest of our lives. Thank you to every single person who has helped the class of 2020 along this journey. Thank you to all of our teachers and staff members, grades K through 12, who have been mentors and role models for us through our educational careers at Van Lu. You will all always hold a special place in our hearts. And a special thanks to Mrs. Smith. She is such an outstanding person who is always willing to listen and help anyone whenever she can. We are so grateful for you, Mrs. Smith. To the coaching staffs, Thank you for not only coaching us, but everything in between. Our coaches have helped mold us into the people we are today. They see us during our highest highs and our lowest lows, and they are there for us no matter which one it may happen to be. Thank you to our janitorial staff for giving us a clean and safe environment to learn in and for brightening our days by saying hi to us in the hallways. Thank you to the cafeteria staff for making sure we have meals to eat every day we would all be very angry without you. Thank you to the administration for keeping our school running smoothly and keeping the students happy. Well, most of the time. Most importantly, thank you to our parents, family members, and friends in our lives who have supported us along the way. They are the people we go to every day and tell about all of our triumphs and struggles. They were the ones who dropped us off on our first day of kindergarten when we were either the most excited we have ever been, or scared to death. They watched us evolve into middle schoolers and high schoolers, and now get to watch us graduate. I have decided I can best compare my educational career to a journey. There are road bumps and detours, but you always somehow end up where you need to be. Our journey began in elementary school, when school was a foreign concept at first, but it eventually grew on most of us. Keyword being most. Being in elementary school, you don't have many worries besides what you're having for lunch and who your best friend is at the time. We would walk through the halls and just look at the high schoolers and all, not thinking we would ever be in their shoes, but here we are. From all the cheesy plays we performed to the awesome field day adventures, 
Elementary school was just the beginning of a much bigger journey than we ever realized. As we grew older, we started to learn about the concept of junior high, where you got to have lunch with the high schoolers and you switched classes every period. Junior high was where it all became somewhat real. The schoolwork got harder and the workload got bigger, but we got to play competitive sports now, so that was the highlight. Junior high was a tough time for a lot of us, I think, because none of us knew who we were and what we wanted to do, but we slowly started to figure it out as time passed. In junior high, we got assigned a lot of book reports, thanks to Mrs. Kennedy, but she always made up for it by showing us her awesome dance moves. And science class was the best when we got to watch Bill Nye the Science Guy with Mr. Jacobs, and he got to hear us all sing along with the theme song. In eighth grade, we were on top of the world because we were finally at the top of the junior high chain, but we were soon to be at the bottom once again. Freshman year, we were the annoying freshmen. The schoolwork in high school was harder than junior high, but the workload was easier. We were still most concerned with what we were having for lunch that day, of course, though. This is the year that high school began, and everyone told you it would be gone in the blink of an eye, and you never really believed them, because senior year seemed so distant. They were right. High school was the quickest four years of my life, and I will always remember the great memories high school gave all of us. Like scaring Mrs. Sandor when she would walk into her room after making copies, and always making fun of Mr. Tusing in class. Bringing back all of these memories just makes me wish I could bring back his hairline for him. Not only did many of us make memories inside the classroom, we did outside the classroom as well, in multiple sports and clubs. High school sports and clubs are nothing like we will ever get again in our lives. All the memories made during these times are the ones we will always cherish. High school is when we all began to realize what we wanted to do with our lives and what we were supposed to do moving forward. As we all graduate from Van Lu, we are taking different routes on our journeys. Some of us will attend college to further our education. Some of us will join the workforce. Some of us will join the military. And some of us will explore other options. This is all part of our journeys, and I know we will all end up where we need to be. The world may seem like an uncertain place right now, but I know that this class will still make our mark on the world, no matter what the circumstance. Thank you to my classmates who have stood by me through this journey, and I wish you all the best of luck in your future. Thank you, Van Lu High School. Dear Van Lu High School, these past few months have been challenging for everyone, but most of you are probably wondering how we are feeling during this time. I can't speak for everyone, but for me personally, it has been rough to say the least. With everything going on in this unique time, we've had many experiences taken away from us. Things that we've looked forward to since we were kids are suddenly gone. Some of us were probably fine with not having to worry about prom or having the energy to go to school nearing the end of our senior year, and that's okay. One of the things that I have looked forward to was giving the speech. I made sure to work so hard in school to be able to say my piece about my high school experience, and you're going to get it now. I want to start this off with freshman year. We were all worried about our new teachers liking us and getting along with all of them. The only teacher from high school that we were familiar with was Mrs. Sandor, since some of us had her for Algebra 1 and a study hall in 8th grade. However, Miss Sandor had a streak of not liking freshmen, and to be fair, I wouldn't have liked us as freshmen either. For those of us that were involved in sports, this was the time when you became the, the team's pack mules. We carried everything and did everything the upperclassmen told you to do because you were freshmen and you had to earn your stripes. We accepted this and did it because we knew the freshmen next year were going to have to deal with the same thing. Then sophomore year rolls around. Guess who doesn't have to be the team pack mules? The class of 2021, who has proven to somehow be one of the luckiest classes ever. Our coaches decided to take away the rule to equal out the teams. Sophomore year ended up being super difficult for one reason and one reason only. The 15 LRAs that Mr. Johnson had assigned us. Biology was no walk in the park, but more like a sprint through a hurricane. I remember very vividly when I got my first C on a test, and it happened to be the biology semester exam, and I cried in class. Besides this, I can say I am proud of how hard I worked that year is quite the understatement because I did end that class with an A, keeping my precious 4.0. Despite biology, sophomore year was rather boring. 
Next came junior year, which is famously the hardest year of high school there is. The ACT came out hard, and I no, I took it seven times. <laughs> the amount of ACT prep that we did in class, or by ourselves, was ridiculous. We'll just say some of us did better than others on that. By the way, I hate you, Evan, for, getting, for taking it once and getting a 30. But we'll move past that. At the award ceremony at the end of junior year, I remember watching the seniors continue to get up to accept scholarships and awards. I turned to Emma, my wonderful co-valedictorian, and I said, I can't wait to be the person who barely gets to sit during this. If only we had known that that was the last full year of high school we were going to have. If only we had known it was about to go down. Senior year. I have waited 12 years for this. It was going to be the high school musical year, the one where they graduate, of course. Oh, how wrong I was. This year was amazing. Our volleyball and football teams broke records. My friends and I got accepted into some amazing schools. My co-valedictorian and best friend, Emma B, got 1,000 points with a torn ACL. And all I have to say about that is queen. With spring sports games about to start, our school is on a roll until March 12th when we all got told that for at least three weeks we would not be in school and we were not able to do anything with our sports teams. To say March 13th was a weird day would be an understatement. I packed up my locker thinking which, just so the janitorial staff was able to thoroughly clean the school, but it was never going to be refilled. As the quarantine went on, we got more heartbreaking news. Since most of you keep up with Wine with DeWine, I won't go into much detail about that. I would have never thought in a million years that this was going to be how my senior year was going to turn out. I thought to myself, this isn't anything like High School Musical. Standing here today, I don't have my friends and classmates to jump in our cap and get caps and gowns to do a cool freeze frame before breaking out into a dance summer to form a wildcat, but hey, a girl can dream. There are many people I would like to thank for helping our entire class throughout our time here at Anlu. The first person I would like to thank is Mrs. Smith. She has been at Anlu since we were in kindergarten. She has watched us grow, fight, and become mostly civilized adults. She has always been my guide through all of high school and after, and I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for us. The next group of people I would like to thank is the lunch staff. This might seem confusing to mention them here, but here's why. We all like to eat, of course, but they have witnessed some pretty interesting things over the years. For example, the random fights, the food throwing, the loud screeches. I would like to thank our elementary teachers, who have all left now, but they dealt with us during the time where we were the most annoying group of children. I would like to thank Mrs. Kennedy for being the class mom during junior high and roping everyone together, and Mr. Jacobs for being the chill uncle we didn't know we needed. I would like to thank all of the band directors I have had while at Van Lue, which included Mrs. Bickford, Mrs. Farron, Mr. McCullough, Mrs. Webb, Mrs. Nielsen, and Mr. Billitzer. This list is long, and the struggle of keeping a band together and functioning was not an easy task, so congrats to you for, going, for not going insane. <laughs> I would like to thank all the other teachers, coaches, and supporters that I didn't mention before. I would like to thank all the parents for doing their best to help their children achieve this achievement. The last person I would like to thank is Mrs. Sandor. Without knowing it, you taught me a very valuable lesson. Her lesson was this. Y'all's a heifer. Most of you will probably be confused by this, but let me elaborate. Amongst educating us about math, she also educated us about what a heifer was by saying, y'all's a heifer, meaning that a heifer was a teenage cow. After laughing till I nearly peed my pants, I realized that we have a lot of our lives left and we are not fully grown cows yet. We all will have different paths. Some of us could be the prize cow at the state fair or used to make a steak, but who knows? We have many decisions to make, people to meet, things to see, and things to achieve. I'm going to end this speech with a famous high school musical quote, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Sincerely, the class of 2020. Members of the Board of Education, the following students have met the requirements set forth by the Ohio Department of Education and Van Loo Local Schools and are eligible for graduation. Emma Louise Rose Biller, is the daughter of Robert and Holly Biller. 
Emma plans to attend Ohio Northern University and major in pharmacy. Emma has been awarded scholarships from Cary American Legion, The Black Swamp, Van Lu Wildcat Music, Van Lu Teacher Association, Van Lu Athletics, and the Ohio Northern University Dean's Scholarship. Amaya Michelle Brenneman is the daughter of Kaylee and Trevor Shio and Curtis Brenneman. Amaya plans to attend Bowling Green State University and major in forensic science. Evan Daniel Gregory is the son of Scott and Rachel Gregory. Evan plans to attend Defiance College and major in computer science. Evan has been awarded the Dean's Scholarship from Defiance College. Benjamin James Gunder is the son of Michael Gunder and Jennifer Gunder. Ben plans to enter the workforce after graduation. Lauren Elise Kin is the daughter of Terry and Janelle Kin and Julie Kin. Lauren plans to attend Miami University to major in nursing and minor in Spanish. Lauren has been awarded a Miami University Academic Scholarship. She has also received the Miami Scholars Scholarship, the Marathon Scholarship, the American Red Cross Scholarship, and the Franklin B. Walters Scholarship. Kaya Elizabeth King is the daughter of Rich and Carrie King. Kaya plans to attend Bowling Green State University and major in visual communication technology. Kaya has also earned the Ohio Means Readiness Seal through Millstream Career Center. Julius Scott Klepfer is the son of Jeremy and Amy Klepfer. Julius plans to attend Ohio Northern University and major in mechanical engineering. Julius has been awarded the ONU Trustee Scholarship. Naomi J. Krug is the daughter of Monty and Shelby Harden. Naomi plans to attend Owens Community College and major in dental hygiene. Carter James Lamb is the son of David Lamb, Shelly McGrill, and Melanie Adams. Carter plans to enter the workforce after graduation and possibly obtain a job at Cooper Tire. Kirsten Marion Lee is the daughter of Timothy and Deb Lee. Kirsten plans to attend Owens Community College and major in psychology. Bryce Anthony Ligty is the son of Matt Ligty and Parker and Tanya Dukes. Bryce plans to enter the workforce and work at Precision Concrete Cutting after graduation. Gavin Cade Montgomery is the son of John Montgomery and John and Ferris Sherman. Gavin plans to attend the University of Finley and major in computer science. Gavin has received the University of Finley's Dean's Scholarship. Kathleen Grace Peters is the daughter of Kevin and Jennifer Peters. Grace plans to attend the University of Toledo and major in nursing. 
She has received the trustee scholarship from UT. Daniel Nathan Riblet is the son of Benjamin and Nina Riblet. Daniel plans to attend Owens Community College for the electrical certificate. Daniel has also received the John Philip Sousa Music Award. Justin Levi Sloat is the son of Jason and Rosie Sloat. Jesse plans to enter the workforce after graduation. Jayla Nicole Smith is the daughter of Greg and Heidi Smith. Jayla plans to attend the University of Northwestern Ohio and major in auto high performance technology. She will also be playing softball for the UNOH Racers. Jayla has also received a scholarship from UNOH. Malia Ann Snook is the daughter of Ruth Anna Inbody, the late Jeff Snook, and Linda and Dave Mickelson. Malia plans to attend Bowling Green State University and major in social work. Malia is the recipient of the Valen Music Boosters Scholarship and has also earned the Ohio Means Jobs Readiness Seal through Millstream. Xavier Anthony Temple is the son of Trevor and Mandy Temple. Xavier plans to attend the University of Finley and major in physical therapy. Xavier has been awarded the University of Finley's Presidential Scholarship, Bailu PTO and Athletic Scholarships, and he was also named the January Rotary Student of the Month for Millstream and the Millstream Student of the Year for the Computer Programming 2 program. Caden. Eva Waddle is the daughter of Miana Ward, Chad Watkins, and Todd Waddle. Katie plans to enter the workforce after graduation. Kirian Wesley Ward is the son of David and Nikki Ward. After graduation, Kirian plans to enter the workforce. Congratulations to the class of 2020 on receiving your high school diploma. At this moment, I know you are all eager to turn your tassels, but I'd like to have your attention for just one more minute. In our young lives, we have been through hardships, heartbreaks, trials, and tribulations, especially with the coronavirus. However, these moments have made us stronger and prepared us for life outside of these school doors. Growing up in this small town has taught us fellowship, and how to help those in need. It has taught us to never give up and keep pushing forward no matter the challenge. Now let us stand as the class of 2020 and walk into adulthood together. Let us make this symbolic gesture of completion of high school. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels.
Let us pray. Now we go our separate ways. We cherish all the things that we have learned. We treasure all the friends that we have made. We pray that God will take us in his hand and hold us tightly in the year ahead. As we seek to find our fondest dreams, we pray that he will guide us in all ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.